Welcome back everyone to Fallout and you join us in the hub. Not that one, it is a trading hub, you filthy animals. First things first, time to take our weapons out of our inventory so we don't get pulled or we don't get assaulted by the cops. And we need to start making our way into town. Past the police officer, give us a free pass. All the boys following behind us here. He doesn't want to speak to us, so we start making our way into the town, into the main trading area of the town. And here we are. We can see the Crimson Caravan. We start looping our way around, a little bit of exploration, immediately double back, gone the wrong way, obviously. <laughs> And we start working our way downtown. We see the general store here. We also see what looks to be a casino or a bar of some description. The Maltese Falcon. And we make our way over to the roulette dealer here. Or craps, I think, as they call it in America. And it's time to start gambling. We've got a high gambling skill. We fail immediately. But let's put some graft into this and like magic we've gone from 700 caps to 99,000 caps we have gambled our lives away and spent many many hours on the roulette table there and what do you do when you've got lots of money you go shopping let's start heading this way now we're going to bypass the general store believe it or not first place we're actually going to head to is to the library And when we eventually get inside, we see the librarian, Mrs. Stapleton. And after we clear her out of all of her books, we've got multiple books here. And with those books, it's time to start the mother of all training sessions. Training complete. We have up to our skills in guns, up to our skills in science, up to our skills in medicine. We are flying now and it's time to head into the general store. We're going to speak to Mitch, the store owner. And speeding up the trades here. Sell the gun that we took from Gizmo, take the stim packs. Taking a variety of bits here, rope, motion sensor. And selling what we can to Mitch here, including my leather armor. And there we go. We up our skill points very, very rapidly, and off we go. Time to start heading over to the east part of town now. And there is another section of the town past the uh, the old traders or the go traders I think that is there past the go traders we can go to another part of town here and here we are again another flying visit here there's not a massive amount to do in the hub right this moment here so it's a flying visit into this building here where we've got the arms dealer waiting for us Jacob time to make a deal with Jacob What's this guy selling? High end arms. He's got a sniper rifle, which is exactly what we want. Gag counter as well. So he's rechambered the sniper rifle from 308 to 223. More common ammo. And we inquire about his Geiger counter.
and here we go. It is time to get some combat armor. We get the sniper rifle. Transfer those funds over to 28,000 caps here. Luckily, we won a lot on our gambling. We've blown what here? Looking about 60,000 caps close to already on the books and on the weapons. We get a combat shotgun. Stock up on our ammo as well. We are spending thousands and thousands of caps. Taking for a stim packs, take an assault rifle, more ammo. Trade in the double barrel, trade in the submachine gun. And there we go, shopping spree over. It is time to head back out fully geared or more geared than we were before. And it is time to head over to Necropolis. The city of the dead. And here we are, the city of the dead. A stench of death surrounds the area. Little life can be seen. Have to sort out our inventory real quick here. This is a little bit of an issue trying to figure out this inventory at times. We drop our previous armour, take on our sniper rifle, and we take out our combat shotgun. And here we go. We move over to see who these guys are here. They look like zombies, they look like the undead. They won't speak to us. They won't engage. What the hell are these things here? They scream. And shuffle off as though they actually are the walking dead. There's only one thing for it, we've got to put these things down. Dogmeat jumps in, Tycho getting in on the action, Ian. We're all getting in there. And I put the last one down. This time go underground, seems to be the safest place to be. We lift up the drain cover, go down the ladder and here we are in the sewage system. We can see the mole rats straight away. Tap check these things out. Vermin. Tycho. Rushing over. Full speed. Ian doing the same. For some reason get knocked to the ground <laughs> by the mole rat somehow, some way. Slowly gets back to his feet and starts to absolutely jet chilling hall roundhouse these mole rats. Don't know why he didn't use his gun. Tycho shoots one. Ian continues to kick this in the face. Hand to hand combat to the death with the mole rat until Tycho moves in and blows the guy's face off. And Ian punches the mole rat to death. And as we move on into the sewers, we see some friendly ghouls here. Wait, don't shoot. Let's go over and talk to these guys, see what they've got to say. Can I help you with anything? I'm looking for water. Who are you? Leader of a simple people who have left the surface because of the others. What's forced you down here? Someone called Set. He is a ghoul, but has assumed a certain amount of power in the above ground world. He is an orf. He gives them water in exchange for letting them live underground. He is afraid if he needs people. I'm looking for a water chip. I've 
heard of a water computer has been used to purify the water. Where is it? Watershed to the north. Take the sewers to get there. You aren't thinking of taking the water chip from, from us, are you? Why? If you take the chip from us, then we will all die. Both our water pump broken. We need it to survive. Can we do the right thing here? Can we fix their water pump? It may be difficult. Why? The sewers are filled with monsters, and none of my people that I have sent to retrieve them have come back. Are you willing to retrieve the parts? Yes. When you get the parts, return here. It is possible I can help you further. So with that, we set off to go after taking their one and only first aid kit. We decide to head deeper into the sewers and go back above ground. Find ourselves in a building here full of ghouls. Are these guys friendly? Can they speak? Who knows? Let's go out the door, let's find out. We go over and speak to this school gang member. What are you doing here? Answer wisely, this could be your only chance. I back out. Back out of the fight. And just decide to try again. Doesn't want to speak to me. I'm out of here. And away we go. But these ghouls are no match for all of us. And we start blowing them away. Ian continuing to punch people to death, kick people in the face. This guy lumbers over, punches me. Can't blow this guy's head off. Let me sniper rifle here. And another one. And although we think that's all of them, there's another massive group here outside. We regroup and run back outside. And here we go. Tap to take these guys out one by one, blown them into multiple pieces. Me, Tycho, Ian doing nothing, Dogmeat getting in the action. This sniper rifle was a hell of a gun. Ian finally does something. And the last ghoul is felled. We find ourselves now at Set's church, full of him and his army. And what follows is the slowest building breach of all time. <laughs> As we work our way around the building, going from window to window, sniping who we can. Taking three guys out from one window, moving on. Another one falls, and another one. And a third. The fourth goes down. We take out the guard on the door. We go back to the window to take a fifth. <laughs> we miss. And no one is even remotely aware that we're here yet. Somehow. We shoot the cage blowing one. And another one. Tycho takes out another cage, blowing one. Take out a guard. And finally, someone realises that we're here and what we're doing, and sets guard. Move in. I try to pull the trigger, and I hear the click of no ammunition. Refill. 
but out of action points. It gives them time to come running over. This is set. This is the guy that we need to kill and take out. These guards aren't doing much use here. I aim for Seth's head. Another headshot, but doesn't quite take him out. 31 hit points. He uses his stim pack, shoots his own man. Nobody else in my team is actually doing anything. They all just stood there watching. Will set take a third headshot. We miss, we hit his guard. We give Set a fourth headshot, and he can't take that. And that is Set gone. We just need to finish off cleaning up this area now, taking the rest of the ghouls out, and we can move on to find the water chip that we so desperately need. Time for another level up. Our first one was toughness. As we flick through, we've got the mysterious stranger there. But I go for toughness again. Up that damage resistance, just with my endurance being so low, just want to really make sure that as Ian's accidentally shooting me or as somebody else is, is taking me, making sure that we can survive those hits finish off the ghouls in this building here and we move out and as we move further on we come across a gang of super mutants here we take Terry out first and we get ready to breach the building As the super mutants come rushing out here, we shoot Gary straight in the head, but he's still he's standing there, still takes it. And another one, and it's time to start cleaning these super mutants out here. Double quick time. Tycho misses at point blank range. Ian just stood there doing nothing, as always. Run out of ammo again. The guys move in. And these super mutants are tough. Some of them not even taking in any damage at all. We see Ian and Tycho in a room here, trying to battle this super mutant here. Ian roundhouting, or roundhousing, should I say, until the worst happens. The super mutant uses his flamer, and unfortunately, Tycho is barbecued and is no more. I leave Ian to fight the other super mutant because dog meat is in trouble, and I'm not losing dog meat, quite frankly. <laughs> so we go, we blow this guy away. Harry, as he is, still standing, gets back up, takes another shot, another shot. Another one. This guy is tough. Dogmate missing all of his hits. And finally, we put him down. And that is the Super Mutants gone. But at what a cost. We have lost Tycho. We drop back down at the sewers. And we drop down another level. And it's time to speak to these girls here. But it turns out these are enemy glowing ones. So we take them out as well. Back above ground, we open a cell where there's a friendly ghoul that's been taken captive by the super mutants. He tells us here. There's a manhole that leads to the old vault. Just need to make the old tech work. 
but the glowing ones lash out but luckily we've already taken them out so we head back below ground again let's try and find this vault let's try and find this water chip that we need time to take out some vermin using the combat shotgun There's an absolutely no match for us as we work our way through Ian punches a rat to death straight in the face and we pick up the junk, the parts that we need to fix the water pump. We keep our promise to the ghoul that we made earlier on that we would let them keep their water or help them keep their water and it's now time to keep our end of the bargain or their end of the bargain even and go down into the vault to get this water chip. We we'll go into the elevator we we'll make our way down to the bottom level place flooded with ghouls yet again we we'll take them out as swiftly as we can Ian still kicking people in the face. As the last ghoul falls, it's time to head over to the computer here, the mainframe, and take what we've been looking for all this time. And with a thousand XP gained, we have the water chip, and it's time to go back home, back to the vault, to save our people. Off we go on the long journey back here. The vault coming into sight. But we're stopped dead in our tracks by a couple of mole rats, some more vermin to deal with. Take these out quickly. He somehow survives a headshot from an assault rifle. And here we go. A fight seemingly more difficult than it should have been. We take out the last mole rat and it's time, finally, to head back home. We make our way over to Vault 13 and Vault 13 is where you will find us all in the next episode as we deliver the water chip and save the vault. So guys, hope you continue to enjoy the series and we will see you in Vault 13 and we will see you in the next episode.